guys welcome back so I finally finished uh, setting up all my settings overclock and everything for my uh, GPUs to mine Caspa so as you can see over here like I was telling you guys on my previous video I move all my 3090s right same server case and the 2080 Ti's same server case right so I only have six cars uh, on this uh, server case uh, which is it worked out great um, so I actually how can I say this made my overclocking settings uh, more efficient okay um, the one thing that I wasn't sure was if I wanted to put my 3070s that I bought the threes that I bought and just not run you know shut off my 3090 so I wasn't sure uh, the 3070s will get me I think it's like around 900 800 and something um, uh, you know gigahertz and the 3090s you know is over a thousand uh, gigahertz right uh, obviously I'm using a lot more power uh, if I remember right the 3070s I wanna what is it I'm trying to remember it's somewhere between 150 uh, 200 watts which it probably is more efficient I just wasn't sure uh, and again I'm probably gonna do that later on tomorrow I can probably go and set them up and see you know which ones are more efficient but for now I just did this and then if you go to my other uh, server case right I got all my 3070s I mean 37s, 3060s in the same server case, right? This workout grace was easy to do. The only problem that I was having was, for some reason, my core clock over here, I cannot set this up to 170. It, it, it will give me errors and whatnot, so I have to bring it down to 150. And it seems to be working stable for now. Uh, so that's pretty good. But yeah, guys, I am done for now. Like I said, I'm trying tomorrow to see which is more profitable, whether I have to get my 37 is running which is I have three so my, you know I definitely can switch the 3090s out and that will save me some watts right especially now with everything going on um, but I don't know uh, if you guys have any opinion like that in the comments please let me know but for now I'll see you guys soon take care